Hello and welcome, Christian filmmakers. I am Ipwishin, also known as Ippolit. How do we identify a genre? What sets a comedy and a tragedy apart from each other? We could go way back and study Aristotle's Poesis, in which he lists all the distinctions between these two genres. But we don't have to. We all know that it's a comedy when the audience laughs and a tragedy when it cries. But what about the distinctions between, say, horror and thriller, for instance? Imagine a maniac chasing poor teenagers with a chainsaw. That's obviously a scene from a horror movie. Now replace the appliance in the killer's hands with a gun, and all of a sudden, you have a thriller. See, a psychopathic murderer uses household appliances as deadly weapons, like scissors, garden hose, barbecue spits, and so on, to indicate that he is one of us on the outside but that it can flip any moment and turn into something murderous. Accordingly, the harmless household tool turning into a deadly weapon provides a meaningful thingy. On the other hand, a gun is the professional tool of either a cop or a gangster. Hence, we are now inside the realm of crime stories, a completely different genre. But let's take yet another example of how thingies can constitute a genre. Let's take a look at the classical western. As the word western indicates, it is about moving the borders of European civilization westward. So all the necessary tools for doing that make for great thingies. The Colt, the Winchester rifle, the iron horse, the telegraph, also bow and arrow, tomahawk and stake. So, here's a little exercise you can do. Next time you watch any movie, look for genre constituting thingies. And if you want to know more about thingies, watch my lesson number six about props and interfaces in film. See you next week and God bless.